injured. And the pitch is going to be popped into right center field. Back there to make the catch is Brammer. And delivers the pitch. It's a shot to left field. And that's going to be down for a hit as well. There's going to be a play at the plate. There comes the throw. And the runner is safe. And delivers the pitch. It's a shot to left field. And that's going to be down for a hit as well. There's going to be a play at the plate. There comes the throw. And the runner is safe. Wait on the delivery from Smith. There it is. A shot to left field. But again, right to Thornhill, who almost misplayed it. Had to kind of make an adjustment there, but a solid shot from Erica Field on the first pitch that she sees of the day. Well, regardless, that's what The pitch from Smith is a shot to third. Throw to first is in time. And so the Tigers get out of the inning without giving up a run. A long at bat for Amber Sear at the shortstop. The pitch called strike three on the outside corner. She didn't like it, but I got to be honest. How she swung at some of the others and not that one. To make sure they can't be used to the pitcher's advantage. One, two, slapped into center field, and Brammer's right there. Perfect positioning right there. And you had they had that on their defensive sheets in their wristbands that that's where they should play Griggs. Perfect positioning right there by Cassie Brammer. And in there for base hits. One, two to Morozik. She sends one up the middle for a base hit, and the Dukes have their leadoff hitter aboard. And there's the aggressive, aggressiveness from Jess Morozik. She got a first pitch called strike. Jess crossed the outside part of the plate. She gets another pitch called strike, and then ball one. But she goes after that pitch there, a defensive swing, but still manages to get it up the middle. That's a good job by Jessica Morozik. Here, the 0-2, the shot to second. Moran fields it, fires to first, and the out is recorded. So fun to watch Madison Moran play at second base. Moran plate here. Strike three, swing and a miss by Bell, and the inning is over for the Tigers at the plate. The Dukes coming up to bat, trailing one to nothing here in the bottom of the third as Ford has to deal the 0-2. Swing and a miss, and the Dukes get out of the inning with that LSU adding the run at third. So JMU coming to the plate, trailing one to nothing, bottom of the fourth, needing to get the offense jump started. Looking at that ball off the barrel of the bat, it didn't look like it had that much on it, but Kurt, it could have been the wind. It, it might have been, as I said. It, it didn't clear the wall by a heck of a lot. There is just enough breeze out there, but there might be what we need. The pitch is a shot to center field, and that is caught by Brammer. The run will score. The throw to third, but is not in time. Play at second base, and the runner is safe. An 0-2 count, and Dill's the pitch. It's going to be popped in the air. Is it going to be trouble? No, it's a Whoa. great catch by Madison Morano to run into center field to catch it over her head. Smith winds and deals. It's a shot at the middle, and it's down for a base hit. Just barely, too. I really thought that Griggs was going to get over, try I, to make a play on it. But I think she smartly let it up instead of trying to dive for that yeah. and let the ball go past her, knowing that the situation LSU is in right now with a two-run lead. You let that ball drop in front of you for a boring position. The Dukes did not bunt very well off of Wall Jasper earlier. That's a shot right at the pitcher, and they're going to oh, throw the ball away. And very fortunate for JMU that Moran was not doubled up as Wall Jasper threw that ball away. Dukes, the two runners on, two outs, and a shot to third. Bell again fields it. The throw is off the mark. Off the mark, the runner scores. The throw from Bell led the first baseman Simmons off the bag. Moran scores. Ready to deal the right-handed pitch, and it's shot up the middle. Brammer right there, though, makes the catch. Well-hit ball from Thornhill. Attended batting, Emily Griggs slaps one to shortstop. Throw to first is in time. It does hold the runner at third, so the Dukes get the second out of the inning. Well played by Nikki Prince. That's a clutch play right there by the shortstop, Nikki Prince. The 0-1 pitch is shot to center field, and Brammer makes the catch. Wow. She has been absolutely outstanding out there. I talked about it earlier in the inning. The fact that she is per play perfectly placed on each fly ball that she gets, it's absolutely amazing. That ball was slicing back yes, to it was. her. Yeah. Because I thought it was straight away center field, and it came back. Sends one towards shortstop, but it's caught by Sirrett. Play wall Jasper. Shot to first base, and it's fielded cleanly, and the third out is recorded. It was a hot shot towards Simmons, who did a nice job of pulling it in. So the Dukes go one, two, three, get nothing more in the bottom of the sixth. LSU, the designated player, and she pops out to right field, is going to be caught in foul territory by Madison Moran. So a quick work there at the top of the seventh. 
So the Dukes have got to make some things happen now. The full count pitch. Ball four. Ball four. Wow. The Prince aboard. Uh, it's a shot up the middle, but it's caught by the second baseman. The throw at first is not in time. Morgan told the batter for the Dukes. She sends one high in the air. It's over the head and down. And Prince is going to play a third, and she is safe.